Why, hello everybody. Happy Friday and welcome back to Side Quest. We got quite a fight in store for us today, but before we go and actually have that fight, let's go get some more rice. Just to give ourselves one more healing item. Just in case that ends up being the difference between victory and defeat. Wait a minute. The lighting everywhere is dark now. That's mildly troubling. Um, oh yeah, it's nighttime out at Sinpo as well. Hmm. I guess we did just, uh, do a pretty big <laughs> plot thing by, uh, getting grabbed by a rope man. <laughs> but, uh, you know. Uh, hello, Divine Child. I would like to place a rice order for takeout, please. Uh, are you closed? <laughs> oh, Shinobi of the Divine Air. I Hi. awaited your return. I need rice. Please, take this rice. Thank you. Bless us with bountiful harvest. Thank you. You have my gratitude. Of course. Rice is a precious thing. Remember to chew properly before swallowing. Oh, I will try, but it's kind of using it in the heat of battle, you know? Thank you for visiting. Good to see you, kid. Uh, all right. I'm actually going to stop by the, uh, stop by the dilapidated temple since the lighting's changed. Just to see if anything's up. Are they both here or is it just him? Can't tell. I'm going to spy. Just in case. Okay. No eavesdropping this time. That's fine. Everything good? Listen. What? You will be the one to kill me. What are you talking about? Don't play the fool. To make her have to kill me. I don't think I could bear it. Please. Oh my. Alright. Uh, things are... Advancing. Uh, do you want a drink? You seem like you could use a drink. I brought sake. Ooh, Dragon Spring? That's fine quality sake. I'll take it then. Now that really hits the spot. Oh, there's nothing quite like this. I often drank this with Dogen. Emma would keep our cups filled. Have you known Lady Emma for long? Oh, that was a long time ago. I found her on a battlefield. A battlefield? She crept up, slowly towards me, her eyes fixed, unwavering on the rice I held in my hand. It became too much to bear, so I gave it to her. Then she just started following me. After that... <laughs> Ooh. Well, a while later... Ashina became a dangerous place for the both of us. Around then, Dogen adopted her as his daughter. I suppose it didn't really matter where she ended up. One thing's for sure. She's happier for the fact she wasn't raised by a shinobi. Hmm. I've abandoned the path of the shinobi. Yet I couldn't abandon that shinobi prosthetic. No matter how hard I tried, I'd never have believed that one such as myself would save another who'd lost their arm like you have. I'm sure it is fate. I guess so. <sighs> I'm parched. Could use a cup of tea. Well, I've given you all I got. Fresh out. Another time, then. I'll lend you shelter any time. Thanks, pal. Uh, well, actually, since we're here, uh, let's help Hanbei out. You all set, pal? I can finally die. My shame for not following my master into death. I can finally 
You're certain of this? Yes. I want you to kill me. As you wish. Go on. Do it. All right. Thanks again, bud. Hidden tooth. A false tooth loaded with a secret shinobi drug, blue in color. Can be used repeatedly. Crush the blue nostrum between the back teeth to die as often as one pleases. Could be useful in certain situations. Surely an unnecessary reminder, but the first death is typically one's last. <laughs> and in his case, like, it's a hidden tooth that he bit into to die, and didn't and couldn't, so it just became his... <laughs> This little death tooth. Interesting character. All right. Oh, daggum, I just realized there's another, like, NPC that I still need to take some weird red fish eyes to. Can't believe I forgot the weird fish eyes. Excuse me, fellas. No, you're not gonna leave me alone, are you? Fine. Okay, so. Uh, do you want fish eyes? That's what I have. My dear Shinobi, the details are in the document I gave you. Considering the nature of the information, I think you'd agree that the less we know about each other, the better. Uh, no on him then? My dear Chanel, the deep mm, I guess not. Well, uh, cool. Uh, I'll keep them then. They are now mine. You can't have them. Anyway, let's go, uh, let's go fight a boss. All right. Time to really get good for once. You know, I'll bring out the Sabimaru. I'm not expecting great things. I'll also bring out the spear, because, well, I never give it a fair shake. But I really ought to just save all this for firecrackers toward the end. Uh, I'll try this once. What could it hurt? All right. Let's get good. Ooh, that move works well. Might try that double Ichimonji more often. Indeed I will, that works great. Ah, wrong direction. That would have worked otherwise. Now oh, come on. There we go. There's a one. Very good start. Get up into the tree. The actual tree. Thank you. There we go. All right. Safer here. Ow. Very good. Ow. Ah, didn't work. Come on. It's good when it hits. No.
Hmm, out of range. Shoot. Get up there. Cool. All right. Uh, another pellet, please. We're getting good over here. Come on. That should have worked. Ow. I hit the button. Boo to that, is what I say. There we go. Doing very well. All right. Let's try this. That did nothing. Well, that's fun. Ah, darn sweeps. Watch it. Very good. New. Ow. <laughs> no, darn it. Terrible timing. That's okay. It's all right. It's all right. We're up. Ugh. Doggone, man. Didn't really get stunned as much as I wanted, but that's okay. Oh, no, there you did. Come on. Mm -hmm. He didn't know his hits. Dog on it, man. Rough. So close. We're going to totally get this this time. All right. We've totally got this. Just going to save the firecrackers to the last phase. Keep using the Ichimonji when possible to uh, whittle down that posture faster. And just uh, get good. And uh, actually equip the rice this time. That would probably help. Uh, don't think I'm going to need that, but... Certainly not on the hotbar, anyway. Okay. We got this. Yeah. Too slow. Ichimoji seems to especially work on this first phase. Hmm. Well, I jumped that time. That's nice. Nah. Nah. Jumped bad. Followed up bad. Mm. All right. Not a great start, but it's a start. Let's get up into the trees. Eat a pellet. And focus.
Ah, don't dodge away when you do that. Always toward. Meh. There it is. There it is. There it is. Very good. All right. Very good second phase. So, moment of truth. That's a sweep. Watch the sweeps. Ow. Yeah, I should save the Ichimonjis for the first phase and not, uh, open myself up to that much damage in the second, or er, in third. hits. Nope. Mm -hmm. Got greedy. Get in that damage. Wrong, <laughs> but we're still gonna win. Maybe. Wolf? I'm very disappointed in you, but I'm going to give you another shot. And we're going to do it just like that. We didn't even do a good job, but we're going to win anyway. Good job, buddy. Well fought. Immortality severed indeed. Whew, that one was tough. The true monk. The corrupted monk guarded the bridge leading to the Fountainhead Palace. The dragon's tally board. A tally board carved from a large piece of jade. Possessing this increases the stocks that can be purchased in merchants' shops. Such a tally board is highly prized by the merchant class. Old custom dictates that those of dragon rank are recognized as supreme merchants by the Imperial Palace and should be given the best possible treatment. Well, there we go. We got the win. Despite it being, like, really messy toward the end there. <laughs> Still got it, though. Oof. So, so was the corrupted monk we fought back in Mibu Village, was that, like, a projection? Or was it just a different monk? The ghost of one. I like to think that this monk here was projecting itself into our world somehow. Because, like, this Fountainhead Palace seems to be, like, in a, just a different plane of existence. I don't know. Kind of seems that way, right? Oh, I get the feeling we're in for some cool spectacle as soon as we walk through that door. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and enhance our attack power here. The corrupted monk was among the infested, standing over the Fountainhead Palace. Indeed, immortality would seem a fitting quality for Eternal Watcher of the Palace. Her true name is Priestess Yao. Awesome. And, uh... T -t 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 let's see. Let's go get some more rice. More rice. More rice. Hello? Uh-oh. You alright? You don't sound alright. I'm glad you've come. Shinobi of the Divine Air. What's wrong? It is... nothing serious. More importantly, your rice. 
Hold on. You don't look well. Rest. Yes, I understand. What can I do? What? Is there something I can get you? Well, then, then I'd like to eat a persimmon. All right. Well, got plenty of those. You've come to visit Shinobi of the Divine Air. Have a persimmon. I found a persimmon. <sighs> Truly? You brought me a persimmon. Eat. Yes. Thank you. <clears throat> it's sweet and delicious. Good. Shinobi, hold out your hand. But... No need to hesitate. Hold out your hand. All right. A bountiful harvest for you. More rice. Huh. I thank you, Shinobi of the Divine Air. The crop is plentiful, thanks to the persimmon you gave me. I ask that you also give some to the Divine Heir of the Dragon's Heritage. I will. I'll do that. Rice that has spilled forth from the hand of the Divine Child of Rejuvenation intended to be a gift for Kuro. Rice is precious. I want nothing more than for the Divine Heir of the Dragon's Heritage to get better. Kuro would likely be pleased to receive it. By get better, does she mean, like, stop being immortal? Heal the uh, chest wound he just got off the mortal blade? What? Well, thanks for the rice. You're very nice. Shinobi of the Divine Air, you are welcome here. Why, thank you. I mean, I'll give you another persimmon later if you want. Farewell, Shinobi of the Divine Air. May the harvest be plentiful wherever your path may lead. A divine child of simple tastes. Wait a minute. What's going on over here? Oh, I guess I can just go to the Halls of Illusion then. Um... Okay. Are the monkeys back? What's going on? Oh! Buddy! Hey, that's great! Uh... Let's start with you. Why have you returned? Kotaro and I both wish to remain here free from distraction. I ask that you leave. Quietly. I shall. I just want to talk to Buddy. Um... No, no, that's not true! But that guy... I know he looks a little shifty, but he's a good man. Kotaro? Hmm? Oh, it's you! Well, I'm glad you made it! Uh, look, everyone! Mr. Shinobi is here, too! Ah, oh, uh, children, greet him properly! <sighs> hmm? Oh, right. Uh, you can't see them, can you? The rejuvenated children? Yes! You can't see them, but they're there. They're adorable kids. Right then, I must give you my thanks. Take this. Oh, cool. A taro persimmon. A conspicuously red persimmon at the peak of its ripeness, commonly called a taro persimmon. Greatly increases posture recovery for a time, even when attacking or taking damage. The Ashina taro troop are practically raised on these fruits, which is why they all know the best time to pick them. Thank you so, so much. Well, thank you. I'm glad he's happy. Um, see you, kids. Um, be good. Bye. How do I get out of here? Here we go. Huh. Well, cool. All right, uh, back to... Is it the Divine Realm? Or... I don't know. To the Fountainhead Palace. The Vermilion Bridge. Man, that's cool. This game's cool! And I don't care who knows it. I mean, look at it. Alright. Let's see what awaits. Whoa! Look at this place! I love it already. I'm going to die so many times here. 
All right. Let us begin our exploration. Jeez, look at this. It's so cool. Oh, I love it here. Okay, here we go. Looking a little worse for the wear down here, but that's all right. Whoop. All right. Awesome. This place is cool and pretty. At least until I start getting attacked. Then my feelings on it may change a little. Oh. Whoop. It's one of those things. One of those mist... whatevers. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Help. <laughs> Sneaky. <laughs> Stealth is what I do. For I am a shinobi. I don't know what these things do when they actually try to fight you. And I don't need to find out. I mean, I wouldn't be even attacking them if, uh... the game wasn't telling me they were hostile. Oh, no you don't. Hmm... This place is amazing. I'm about to have a fight, aren't I? Oh, well, maybe not. It just looked like a big open battlefield is all. <laughs> uh, okay, hang on. Let me see what's going on over here. Ooh, goodies. Thank you. I do love me some gorgeous environment art. Boy, From's team is, oh geez, amazing, is what I was going to say. What are you? Ooh, are you one of those Okami warrior women? That'd be neat. Hey, don't- please don't shoot bows at me. It's like rude. Oh, there's another one down there. Watch it. And another one. You know what I better equip? Oh, I already have it. Well, great. Good to see I planned ahead. Oh, you're so poisoned. Wow, that just devastates you. Why did I just walk around a corner with- oh, okay, watch it. What did you just- What just happened? Stop. Enfeebled? That's new. Um. <laughs> yeah, I deserve that, you know? <laughs> Whoa, true death! Whoa! Alright. Lesson learned. <laughs> uh. Whatever, I still like this place. You can't stop me. I need to come up with a name for those things. Like a term. Come on, turn around. Thank you. And you.
And you. Very good. So what's up on this side? Ooh. A warrior over there. Lots of good swimming over there. And presumably over here. Item over here. Yep. Oh no. What the heck? What the heck was that? Something in the water? That was lightning. What? Is happening out here? I mean, I guess the lightning effect had to come back, right? That makes sense. Is it you? No, probably not. I do need to work my way around, though, it seems. So... Let's start doing that. And, uh... Stay out of the deep water. Hey! Whoa! <laughs> Can't even be that mad about it. <laughs> that was really more funny than anything. Let's get up top. Ooh. We got guards. A lot of them. All right. Eh. That'll count. Come on. Let me do the thing. Thank you. This place is gorgeous. I mean, I've said it already, but I'm not going to stop. Ow. No, thank you. Please hold still. Thank you. All right. Got two here. Let's just go ahead and get our free one. And then have us a fight. There we are. Very good. And watch out for that. Yikes. No. Get lost. No. Jerk. So is it just the glowing ones that hit me with that? It's probably all of them. It is most likely all of them, so... Exercise the caution. Okay. Mm, let's get this last one on the bridge here. Just to make sure no one sneaks up. Oof, she looks pretty prepared, though. Nope. Hey, no lightning, please. Okay. <laughs> Oof. It's all so cool. All right. Next section. Hmm. 
dogs of a sort. Hmm, better get out the, uh, old tried and true shurikens. At least that still works. Hmm, there's one guy in there to watch out for. I'm almost definitely going to get jumped by something. Very good. Can I get on the roof from here? Great. This is the best area. Ah, I'm not sneaky enough. Must be more sneaky. Oh, hi. How did we miss each other? Alright. There's the dude right inside the house, so watch out for that. Hmm. And ghost dog associates. Mm, okay. Taking no chances. Wait, are, do they have like a fancy kill move now too? Yeah, they're a nightmare. Wow. They're like fish dogs. They have like piranha heads. That's amazing. And disturbing, but what an amazing design. Uh-oh. No, thank you. No chances taken. No. Wow, they shoot lightning. That's bad. <laughs> I definitely don't need to deal with that. Eel liver. Greatly reduces the amount of damage received from lightning attacks. I get the feeling I'm gonna need a lot of that as we go. Any others? Great. Okay. Come on, let me in. All right. Looking good. And I think... Yes, good. I see an idol, just no one attack me, please. All right, we're good? Okay. Okay, well, I think this is going to do just fine for today's episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Have a good weekend, and I will see you... Uh, on Monday for more of this gorgeousness and lightning. It'll, it'll be good, though. Y'all take care. Goodbye.